a nice hair day today. It That's is. It looks pretty good. Great. the most of my day off yesterday you can't even imagine over here you can't even believe how good it looks over here let's see if I can take you look how much how much how cute it looks down here I've got bins I've got extra space hello Carolyn Joe how are you I've got look I'm gonna reach up here and I'm gonna show you how much space I made I have a whole empty one of these guys up here and more and more going on. So I kind of spent the day yesterday Marie Kondoing. If any of you know who she is, she's this tiny little Japanese lady who tells you that nothing should be in your home that doesn't spark joy. So last year in January of 2019, I kind of came home. Januarys are always kind of slow in my business. So I spent January kind of Marie Kondoing my house, not exactly to the letter of her law, but I, um, I did things like I realized I have in my tiny little apartment a drawer full of glasses, but the glasses repair kit was in a different drawer. So I got that sense of putting like with like um, was what I did to my house and it was really great and I loved it and I'm so happy I did it. So what I am gonna say though, guys, is that I kind of put that to my kitchen and I realized some things that like the other day I went and pulled something off the stove or out of the oven and looked around and literally had no place to lay it, except maybe in the sink, which might've been full of dishes. So I, like I said, I did some work, did some reorganizing down here. And now with this, I have these little apple crates that I've got, that's empty. I could probably put another half a dozen uh, cans and stuff. I've got another one down here that could accommodate several more bottles of booze. And over here, I've moved all of my unopened dried goods like pastas and rices, and it is in this bin here. And I still have fully 50% of it available for other like dry things like onions and garlic and potatoes and stuff. And they're down here where it's out of the way and doesn't make any difference, And right? So I'm so happy about that. But then I realized things like, while I love my beautiful uh, bottle that my friend Rebecca gave me for my birthday that ended in a zero a couple of years ago. It is one of seven bottles that I had in my cupboard right here taking up a ton of space. So while I have Caroline's Yeti that has to be at some point returned to her, um, I have this hot cup that Hugo bought me like the first summer we were together. I hate to throw it away. Um, I have a Tervis tumbler that says the Kentucky Blood Center on it. I kind of like that. It's not that they don't spark joy, they just are taking up too blankety blank much space in my kitchen. So I've decided that I'm gonna keep my pretty Rebecca bottle in here because it's got the jewels in it. And then all the other ones are gonna get find us home somewhere like maybe, hello Mrs. Roberts, gonna find a home maybe in the buffet or something that where I'm not going as often and it's not gonna be as futzy. So here's my one thing that gets to stay in the kitchen. Then I realized that um, I have these batteries in this little drawer right here. And it's my only drawer in my kitchen. And I also have a drawer that has all the batteries in the house. So. Shouldn't that go to the battery drawer? Let's do that. I also realized, I mentioned this to Hugo a few minutes ago, and he said, that's because I'm a hoarder. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine identical wine openers right here. Why? There is another bucket in my front hall with all the other wine stuff for wine openers. This does not spark joy. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to find the ones that are actual pull taps. And once I, oh, here's a good one. Well, this is Bottle Rocket, so I'll keep that there. And let's see, anything else that's a true, 
that's that. What's this one? That's not even a branded one. So the two good ones are going to stay here. And I don't even, this one, this is a rabbit. And I swear, even I can hardly make it work. So there's that. I'm going to keep that. I am going to keep my also, because you need those. That has a different use in opening wines than the just the pull. Um, I am going to keep my Jody and Sale stopper. Look how cute, guys. It lights up. It lights up. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that out here because I love it. And I should turn that battery off. There we go. I'm going to keep my pipettes because they're important. Sometimes you need to drop a little bit of stuff into a drink. And I'm going to keep this out because I love this, but I may put it someplace else. This is, if you see, this is, isn't that amazing? This is a cigarette personal ashtray. And it belonged to my friend Gregory, uh, Gregory's mother. And it is even, it says Mary and Hale Gregory on the front. doesn't say her, has her initials. I, so this gets to stay in a place of love. And then, of course, champagne stoppers because we use so many of them. Now, yeah, look at that. That is so much nicer. And now, it used to be that most of this stuff was outside of the box. Now that's all together. I'm feeling better about that. Um, I do keep my, my, my Stanley, uh, my measurer here, but I'm wondering why when I have a little drawer right here, not five feet from me, where it has most of the other kind of handy dandy easy to get to tools that's going to go out of here as well maybe this should go where the shopping bags have been moved to this is one of those so that if you have a plastic bag you don't hurt your hand let's put that with the shopping bags <coughs> pardon me oh look i have several of them let's put them all with the shopping bags i like that perfect what else do we have here let's see who else is here Let's see. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Denise. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Diana. You guys, hello, Denise. You guys, it's nice to have you here. And I hope that this isn't boring to you, but it's just when you realize, again, I, I, I know I've said this before, but I live in a little less than 400 square feet for 25 years. And so, and like, 50 square feet are devoted to wine storage, so there's that. Can't live without this, right? You know how I love my microplanes, so having them handy and together is great. Now, this muddler takes up a lot of room. Maybe the muddler should go with the other bar stuff, so I'm going to push that over there and think about that. Here's another thing that I decided probably doesn't spark joy. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and another muddler. So I have nine identical cheese sandwich spreader knives. This does not make me happy. We'll, we'll pull a couple more to come that will get to stay with us. Another thing. Why do I have this in my kitchen? Ideally, one of these days, if we ever get people back in, I'm going to put that there so that I don't have to keep putting Clorox bottles and, 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 and sodas uh, to hold this shut. Uh, but there you go. This needs to go with tools, right? So that that's ready for that. Now, already, look at this, guys. This is so much better. Now I can actually, could actually see the knives that are in here. I could get all the knives in one place, maybe. That's not bad. That's a great idea. Lots and lots of knives in one place. I love it. Here's another thing I realized. Why are all these chopsticks in my drawer when I only use these kinds of chopsticks to prop up plants, to tie up plants that have gotten heavy? I have my own proper chopsticks that we use for chopstick eating. These need to go in another place. Gone. And so what else have we got here? That looks good. Scissors should go maybe with the knives. I like that idea, scissors and knives. And then now I'm dealing with something that I can actually face. I can actually see what's in here. 
um, I might have another scenario with way too many cheese. Oops, sorry for all the noise. Look, another whole collection of cheese serving scenario things. You would think that I eat a lot of cheese in here, wouldn't you? Um, random pieces of tomato Velcro. This is something I will say. Um, I love this stuff. Just little rolls of Velcro for propping anything up. Again, if you need to prop something up, you can take a, 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 a chopstick and prop your plant right up. I love those. So this is something, but again, why is it in the kitchen? Shouldn't it be with the gardening stuff? I think so. Sorry, renegade chopstick. And let's see. So now, the only thing that I really have left over here, uh, serving spoons, this is great, odds and ends. This looks pretty good. I do have my uh, stones for resting our uh, chopsticks on here. And then I have these perfect little Bakelite cheese knives. Can't they be my cheese knives for every day? I think they can. And then the only thing I really have left to kind of deal with here is that I say things like this. I have a few little uh, uh, twist ties here in case you ever need a twist tie. So those can get all organized back up together. And then my little silicone rubber bands, uh, silicone bands for uh, easy trussing or tying up anything in the kitchen because rubber bands, you know, they give up the ghost pretty fast and don't last like you'd maybe like them. So guys, I know that that wasn't cooking in quarantine, but this was just the thing that I needed to do to kind of organize the kitchen a little better so that I can go headlong into the second month of cooking in quarantine with a little bit more grace and a little bit more ease. So that is my story today. And I do have a couple of little baskets and boxes and some things in the buffet in the other room where I can probably store up all of this excessive amount of cheese serving equipment that I have. Um, but you know, I have done an awful lot of events and when I try to count, I've probably taught or led a couple, easily a thousand wine classes. And look, more cheese serving things. Let's put them in the pile. Um, look, more cheese thing, or no, I guess these are butter. These butter can stay. So anyway, guys, that's kind of my story for what we were doing today. Now I'm going to take the time to empty all of these containers. I'm going to wash them out thoroughly. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll have a super organized kitchen for tomorrow. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, we all can declutter. It just, I can't even tell you guys how happy I am that I have this space. You know, I, um, again, credit where credit is due. My dear sweet friend, Lori Shelburne called me about a year ago and she said, how deep are your kitchen cabinets? And I'm like, Lori, that's standard. She's like, no, just go measure it for me. I'm like, Lori, it's standard. Two feet on the bottom and one feet on the top. And so I measured it for her. I was correct. And she, the next couple of days later, I have this big box full of plastic Lazy Susans. And they're the best thing ever. I have them in almost every cup, well, in cupboards where I, uh, uh, you know, need to be able to see things. Um, I've got my, uh, my good cocktail glasses are on them, so you can wheel and get a few of those. Or it's just really, they're really great. I can't, I can't shout enough about them especially for those of us who live in small spaces and you know how easy it is that you can just lose track of what's in your cabinet the other day I was making something and I went wait a minute I think I used to have and I reached back there and lo and behold there it was but if I hadn't had some spin I might not have ever gotten to it so let's see um, you guys um, I hope everybody has a good day I have no idea what I'm gonna eat today because I can't even get to my stove. <laughs> um, but what I will say is I get to go out on my, I think it's been three weeks since I've been out and in a car, but I'm gonna rent a car today and I'm gonna deliver a whole lot of wine to a whole lot of people who are gonna do a little wine tasting with us later this week. I've got two on. So just to remember guys, if you want to organize, a wine tasting among your friends or a cooking demonstration among your friends let's do it 
All you have to do is send me, is either call me, text me, email me, or private message me, anything you want to do. So this has really turned out to be a really great idea, I think, and uh, people are going to enjoy it. So I'll report back on Friday about this, but I'll be back here tomorrow with Cooking in Quarantine. And I have to think somewhere, and oh yes, I just got some corn on the cob. I'm, I really want it to be a little more summer-like these days, and it's just not. We've had a lot of really crappy gray weather in New York. And so I'm gonna make what is one of my favorite summer dishes. Um, which is my corn and black bean salad. Yeah, I know it's not the same as when it's summer corn, but I did get some corn on the cob, which I'm gonna steam, and some cans of black beans, and we're gonna put this together. And once you get the basics of it together, it is so friendly, and you can mix up the, uh, the ingredients over and over again. So uh, that's what I think I'm gonna do, because I'm looking forward to that. And that's all I have to say, I think, today, guys. So, um, decluttering is good for your mind. I'm one of those people that believes that a disordered space leads to disordered thinking. So, clean out a drawer today. Tidy up your closet. Do throw something away. Um, now, I don't subscribe to that if you haven't worn it in a year, throw it away, because I have stuff that has hung in my closet for a decade, and I pull it out one day and go, now's the time to wear this. I swear, I do it all the time. So, there's that, but maybe we all have a drawer full of yoga pants that have given up the, the snappy ghost. Throw some stuff out and clean something out and organize something. I think you'll feel a little better. That can be the thing you do for you today. Make your blood pressure go down, make your head feel a little straighter, and then of course, always look for something that you can do for somebody else. It's the best way to work your way through quarantine. Um, anything, whether it's sending somebody some food that you made, or yesterday, I had a hankering. I didn't want to cook. Since I took the day off, the last thing I wanted to do was cook. So I ordered from Dos Torres because I love their quesadillas and that's just exactly what I wanted to eat. But they gave me the option to buy a meal for a, a healthcare worker. So I bought two. Uh, and that was kind of my good thing to do for somebody else to, yesterday. It may not have been huge, but it was something. So. You'll always feel better if you can do something for somebody else, so keep that up. And um, you guys, hello, Kathy. Um, you guys, that's about all I know. Uh, like I said, I've got to get, get the rest of the day clicking on so I get to everything that I've got on my list today. Take care. I love you. Thanks for spending the day with me. And I'll see you same bat time, same bat channel. Ciao.